HQT Diagnostics is a new company that offers tools to help you diagnose and treat a significant number of illnesses. Uh, the first product we have is a test for fatty acids. There's been significant research over the past uh, 20 years or more to show that omega-3 levels and omega-6 levels have a major impact on inflammation and in illness. There are a significant number of illnesses where inflammation is either obvious, the joints are on fire, or it's more silent and underlying and the patient doesn't know they've got the inflammation. So we offer a test that enables the practitioner to test the level of how high is the omega-3 and, and how low is the omega-6. Professor Von Schacke and Professor William Harris have done tests over many years to say that the omega-3 level should be more than 8% of your total fatty acids and that your, your omega-6 level should be low enough that it's no more than three times your omega-3. What's happened over the years is that our ancestors used to eat a diet of foods which had much less omega-6 in them and much more omega-3. More fish oil um, and less corn oil and less soya. Based upon a few thousand tests in the UK, we found that young people have particularly high levels of omega-6 to 3, which should be much lower, and they have very low levels of omega-3. They're not eating enough fish, and they're eating too much junk food and processed food. The cause of that is probably because of too much corn going into the animal feed, and corn oil, and soya uh, going into animal feed. So we've looked at the amount of soya that goes into the animal feed that, that goes into the food we eat. And in Germany, for each person, 700 grams of soya is going into the food stuffs. Now what happens is that's boosting up the omega-6 level, which is causing the inflammation. So we've got a simple blood test which enables the practitioner to measure the level of inflammation. We're offering a practical test for nutritional therapists and doctors and other health professionals to measure this level of inflammation. Here's the test pack and um, it, it involves a, sing, a simple uh, finger stick blood test onto the blotting paper. Um, post this off to us, we send back results which gives 26 fatty acids but also an analysis of the omega-3 index and the 6-3 ratio plus dietary advice about how to increase the omega-3 index by eating more fatty fish and other foods and how to bring the 6 level down by looking at the labels on the food you eat like the jar of mayonnaise and, and processed foods and bringing down the level of six, cutting down on soya, cutting down on corn. The health professional gets a report back from us showing the 26 fatty acids and these reflect the food you've been eating for the past 60 to 90 days. And you'll get a, a listing of the results for all 26 fatty acids and also some uh, numbers on the omega-3 index, the um, omega-6 to 3 ratio, and in particular dietary advice about how to improve this, such as uh, taking more fish oil, eating more fish, um, and reducing the soya and corn that you eat. The results of the inflammation show themselves in different ways. In older people, they tend to develop um, rheumatoid arthritis, my joints are on fire. And we had an example of a woman who had this plus some other things. She was feeling very depressed. And after she, the results of the tests, she took two spoonfuls of our omega-3 fish oil a day for a couple of months. And she reported uh, the symptoms were greatly improved and her depression was improved and her, her general mental alertness was significantly improved. There's another example with a young boy 
who had some illnesses which were corrected significantly over a, a two to three month period. A 60 year old woman whose joints were on fire, her knees were hurting, she couldn't get up off the carpet after playing with her grandchildren, she was having problems going up and down stairs. And she told us after a couple of weeks, oh, the, the pain's gone and I can run up and down stairs. There's one other example, a 75 year old man who had flaky skin, very, very itchy skin, flaky, and the medical profession really could not solve his problem the whole of his lifetime. And we did the blood test, we got the results back. Um, his omega uh, six to three ratio was way up at about 25. His omega three index was way down. We, we advised him to eat more fish, to eat, eat less soya and, and processed food and he took two tablespoons of our fish oil and after about two months he, he, he phoned me up and said look this is the most amazing effect my skin my scaly skin is almost completely cured I was very irritable and depressed and and that's all gone and and he was he was just so thankful and amazed that it had a wonderful effect for him our proposal for increasing the omega-3 is to use this HQT omega-3 fish oil. It's made with um, high strength, pure fish oil, not concentrated, and some uh, olive oil, which helps carry the, uh, the fish oil into the blood cells, and some lemon juice, and has a very nice taste. The things to look out for are high strength fish oil, not made from concentrates um, and a suitable carrier to stop it oxidizing. If you'd like to learn more about this, please go to our website hqt-diagnostics.com and there you can see case studies and uh, demo uh, reports and uh, videos and presentations and other information. And I invite you to learn more about this subject and see if it's relevant to you and your health. Thank you.